Top Microsoft Teams Tips and Tricks. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be breaking down some of the amazing things you can do with Microsoft Teams. So let's get into it. Now, one thing a lot of people don't even realize is that Microsoft Teams is not something that is only limited to doing a video call or video conference. It has a lot of other amazing tools integrated within the application itself. So let's take a look at one of the top functions of Microsoft Teams, which I like to call communication. And a lot of the times people don't realize is that they actually have a chat section within your Teams section. And in this, you can actually broadcast any important message, any conversation within the chat section. After that, you can go into the Teams section to go into the posting section, and you can actually start a post and a conversation. This might be content for your lectures, this might be agendas for your meetings, this might be the notes for a particular meeting, whatever it might be, you can go into Teams and then go into posts and start a post. Over here, you can also upload files that might be relevant for your team and build a new tab. In these tabs, you can also integrate tasks as well as whiteboards to make the functionality of Microsoft Teams to be on a higher level where you're not only building your teams and doing your meetings online, but you can actually take those meetings, convert them into actionable tasks and put those actionable tasks in a task planner. So for that, you just go into tasks by planner and to do, and you are going to go on ahead and insert this application. So you can build any tab name that you want. Let's say this would be the Durden tasks or meeting tasks, and then click on save over here. Now this will create a new tab, which will allow us to insert tasks within those. And we can take any of the tasks that are created during a meeting and insert them over here. And you can build different buckets as well. So you can easily jolt down all of the tasks that you come up with during a meeting. Now, after that, you actually have a assignment section. This depends on the type of team that you have. So you might have forthcoming, past due, and completed ones. This depends on the institution or business corporation that you are building. For institutional organizations, they do have an assignments tab, which can help the students stay organized. After that, you have a call section. This can be in the form of a personal call instead of having a video conference with all of your teammates. This might be something that you have to urgently kick up your manager on, or you might need to update a manager on something. And for that, the call functionality is great. Now, you also can integrate SharePoint within this, and you also can integrate your pre-existing Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents within. Now, after that, let's go ahead and actually take a look at some of the meeting functionalities that you can enjoy with Microsoft Teams. So for that, just click on Meet Now over here, and you can build a meeting in two ways. You can get a link to share or directly start your meeting. You can also join with an ID as well. So we're going to click on Start Meeting over here, and this will create our meeting. Now, it will ask us a few different options. So if I want my microphone to be turned on and where I want my audio to be coming from, if I want room audio or not to use my audio. Now, let's say I want this to be with my computer audio and click on join now. Now, once you do that, you can invite people to join you via a link, participants, or you can add them manually, or you can share it via email. Now, one thing to note is that you have a few shortcuts that you can use such as the command shift M shortcut, which will automatically mute me on the Teams app. This can also be used for muting and unmuting to make sure it's easier for you to be able to respond to a question and then instantly mute your mic when it is not necessary for you to speak. Now on your top left, you will have the meeting minutes, which basically means how long this meeting has been going on. Then you will have a chat section where you can see all of the messages being typed. If you are the one that is typing, or if you are the one that is speaking and you have some files or data you want to share, you can go into the chat section and instantly upload from your device as well. And you can write messages as well as write a important message. 
Now, if you might be attending a meeting and your message is not something uh, that you can you want to say out loud, but you want to notify the person that is holding the meeting, you can go with an important message, which would show the person that it is being sent to that it is a important message like this. So if I send this, this would be marked with an important icon. Then you also have a urgent message where the recipient would be notified every two minutes for 20 minutes. So after every two minutes, they would be notified that they have an urgent message. This might be to notify someone that they might have something in the background and maybe their mic is turned on, whatever it might be. You can easily notify your business, your team members, your colleagues directly on Teams. Now, after that, you also have integrations with cloud components as well as loop components where you can go directly in through the loop components and you can build bulleted lists, checklists, numbered lists, paragraph, progress trackers, Q&As, tables, and voting tables. Voting tables are a great functionality that can help you in deciding things during a meeting. So who will be our new manager? And then people can cast their vote. So person A and person B, and then manager and then we have this option where you can hide a column as well. We don't need the pros and cons section. We just want the vote section. And then after that, we are going to click on over here and send this panel. Now people can vote for their preferred person. In that way, you don't have to hold these meetings and then manually have to take a vote. All of that can be done in the chat. Now, after that, these are just some basic chat tools. A lot of people don't know that if someone raises their hand during a meeting. You can go into the people section and the people that have raised their hands would be appearing on the top. Now, once those people appear on the top, if another person raises their hand, their hand would appear on the bottom. So if you're taking questions and you want to take questions consecutively, then you are going to go with the person on the top and then move to the bottom because that is the order in which people have raised their hands. Now, if you want to take a look at the people and you want to only, you know, see uh, the entire scope of the meeting, you can go into the together mode and this will show all of the people that are present. You also can focus only on the speaker as well as a gallery view, which will alternate between all of the participants of a meeting. Now, you also have some background effects that you can now integrate where you can blur your background and add a standard background as well. Then you also have some settings. So you can click on device settings and choose the preferable audio devices and visual devices that you want. Now, after that, you also have captioning that can be done live. And you can choose the language that everyone is speaking for automatic captioning, which is something that you don't find in a lot of other tools. Now, once you have completed your meeting, you guys can see that it is currently captioning what I'm saying. But once you have completed your meeting, you can click on end meeting on the top right and click on end. However, if you want to record your meeting, you also have that option. So you can click on record and transcribe and click on record. Keep in mind that if you are recording a meeting, this will ask the permission of all of the members present within. So in this way, you can get started with Microsoft Teams and these little tips and tricks can help you in further boosting your efficiency and performance on this platform. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.